Okay, so here's how I'm going to pack up Fluffy for you. You don't need much, not much at all. Um, really what you need is maybe a nail or a needle. And you need some Tupperware, some water, and some paper towels. So here we go. We take the Tupperware, and it's anything that's appropriately sized. Something small they can climb into. And you take the nail or the needle, and you start poking holes in the side and around it. And you want enough to ventilate without, you know, just letting them escape. So I go all the way around. I really already did these holes, but I want to make them bigger with this nail because I used a toothpick before. And don't forget to do the lid. Okay. Now that that's done, comes the important part. You want to make sure that you pack up your tarantula nice and snug. And I said snug, not tight. Because if you do it too tight, then you're going to, you know, squash them. So, you take your paper towel and you fold it up. And that's probably enough for this size. And then you, you know, Hold it up and you stick it on the bottom. It doesn't have to look gorgeous, just you want to cover the bottom. And then you take your water and you get it wet in there. If I can get this to work. There we go. You want it damp. You don't want to saturate. That's a little bit too much. No, no it's not. I'll be packing more on there anyway. So, she can get pretty small. She can fit in there pretty good. So you want to make sure that there's enough room for her to be in there, but not enough room for her to bounce around or anything like that. So... Again, make it damp. You see we got a nice little hollow out in there now. I'll probably do it one more time for the size of this container because she's also pretty small. I know a lot of people pack extra in there, but they also use a lot larger containers. I'm not going to do that. So, that's nice and damp, not saturated, more than enough of a hole for her to hide in if she needs it. You can keep adding layers if you want. She's pretty big though, not too big. I think that's just fine. The next step is getting her in the bucket. So, let's see how this is going to work. This should be fun. We'll see if she'll actually want to climb in there.
See, sometimes they don't want to. So you just got to keep trying and keep trying and keep trying. So, oh, yeah, and I forgot. Terrestrials like to burrow, so if you place it so it's going down, a lot of times they'll go in much better. And I was holding it up. Silly me. We want you to stay in there. Okay, I'm trying to get her to go down in there. She's not wanting to at all. I get her in, I'll continue the video. Okay. So as you can see, she's down in there. She's not quite all the way down in there. She doesn't like being in there, apparently. But we shall continue. It's all about packing with paper towels. What I should have done is not gotten the bottom of it wet or the side, one side of it wet and packed her in there first because um, I think I remember somebody telling me that they really just don't like to be wet which I don't blame them but this will provide enough humidity for them so you take another piece and you well you can fold over these edges first I do not recommend doing this if you don't know the tarantula that well. It's a rose hair though. I don't think anything's going to go wrong. So, then, take another piece of paper towel, pull it up, set it around the top edges, and you pack it in. You want your guy to be a little bit snug. You don't want them to be squashed. So, just a tiny bit of water. I'm going to do it one more time. less than that. Probably a little less. See, I don't want to squish her. I just want to pad her. And then, take wood and you put it in. And now she's all packed up. freaks the hell out and acts like it's going to escape and kill them. Got to tape it down. Make sure not to cover any of the holes. So, there's one bit. And two.
There you go. Got yourself a nicely packed up tarantula.